hi there this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me today today I am giving my updates for the crafty goals collab with Amalia 2020 these are August updates um, and if you're not familiar familiar uh, this collaboration is a group of us that have decided to create some craft crafty goals at the beginning of the year and so every month we give an update on our goals and where we're at um, in hopes of inspiring others to get organized and create some goals for the year um, however for me I am going to be uh, stepping out for the rest of the year in this collaboration um, I have really enjoyed it it has helped me tremendously to organize myself and to just be more um, aware of things that I want to accomplish and I appreciate the opportunity to have been involved in this collaboration um, and the reason that I am going to step down from doing this collaboration is because I am currently on five design teams. Um, and I think I mentioned this in my last month's update video. In no way, shape, or form did I expect to be on five design teams. I, When I applied to these design teams, which kind of were all at the same time, they had open calls. Um, I was hoping uh, if I could just get on one, that would be awesome. And I ended up getting on um, several. And so I am super grateful for that and so excited. Um, and I want to make sure that I can fully commit to those design teams as well. I am involved in other collaborations. And so just to um, keep me from going crazy and pulling my hair out every month, um, I have decided to step down from this one. So I wanted to thank everyone that has been following me along on my Crafty Goals journey so far this year. I really do appreciate your comments and support. Um, I hope I have um, given you some ideas maybe to create your own Crafty Goals and ways to track those. Um, and I definitely will still be following along with all of the um, gals that are currently on the um, collaboration so I look forward to seeing all of their goals throughout the rest of the year and to find all of the other ladies that are involved in this collaboration just go ahead and use the hashtag that I have in the description and that will allow you to hop from video to video and I have kind of gone over my spreadsheet really quickly in the background and now I'm going to go ahead and get into more detail. So the first one is complete one journal entry or mixed media project. I actually um, participated in an event this month. It was a mixed media hop and so I created this card right here with some alcohol inks. Um, my, my next goal was practice creating scene cards, which is a goal that I took off several months ago because I don't particularly like creating scene cards. <laughs> um, my next goal is complete two all to new classes per month. Um, this is something I have been trying to work on, but I have not done a great, I, had not, I have not had great progress this year um, for that goal. I create a card box that keep only cards that fit in that box. I do have an overflow right now um, that I am planning on donating pretty soon. So I will get that one taken care of. Um, next is organized craft room, which I completed earlier this year. I will be giving an update uh, in a few weeks. So towards the end of September, I will be doing a quick update on my craft room. So I hope you join me for that. Uh, consistently post one to two videos per month on YouTube. Um, this month I actually did 14, which is one more than I did last month. So last month I did 13. Uh, this month I managed to do 14 videos. Thanks in part to having so many design team videos that I am posting. So that goal has been achieved. Uh, be involved. I continue to work on this goal. It's just remaining active on social media and interacting um, with the wonderful community that we have in the card making community. Um, since I'm on a card every month, I did complete this goal this month. I sent out several cards. Um, use one forgotten supply. I cannot think of a supply that I use this month that I don't usually use. So I'm going to say that I did not complete this goal this month. Um, the next one is use pattern paper once a month. I actually did use pattern paper several times um, for design team projects. And so this first one, I used some papers I had in my stash to create some Halloween cards. 
And then for this uh, Christmas card, it was actually some paper that was a part of a design team project that the paper was sent to me, but I loved using that. Um, so the next one is learn how to use Scan and Cut. I've been continuing to very much enjoy using my Scan and Cut to cut out my stamped images, but this month they actually did something different and I used um, it to cut out some pattern paper and it didn't do too bad so this is a pattern paper and then these are the flowers that it cut out so it didn't cut them all out it cut some of them out um, but I was happy with what it did and it did a great job so uh, I was super happy that I learned something new about my scan and cut um, but that is it for me um, I thank you again so much for joining me and I appreciate um, each and every one of you for watching my video and commenting and liking. It really means a lot to me. Um, I hope you'll continue to follow my channel, even though I am not going to be doing this collaboration every month. Um, and I want to say good luck to all of the, our participants. I will be following along with you and cheering for you um, to complete your goals. And um, that is it. Um, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and I hope I'll see you later.